where we screen the awesome and awesomely bad classics that you need to know about. Today we're going to be screening Alfred Hitchcock's penultimate film in Britain, The Lady Vanishes. And joining me in the studio is my co-host, Alex Knight. Hi, thanks, Lauren. Uh, we also have a special guest with us as well, who is Rebecca Wiggins. She's a local actress and filmmaker in Albuquerque, New Mexico here. And we also have a special Indie Insight segment with Dirk Norris. That's coming up in just a little bit. And without further ado, let's jump into the film, Alfred Hitchcock's comic thriller, The Lady Vanishes. What classic film was referenced most often throughout Breaking Bad? Taxi Driver, The Godfather, Scarface, or The Big Heat? Answer up next. To add to your enjoyment of the movies, we offer cold, refreshing, full-flavored drinks. Choice popcorn, freshly popped, crisp and tasty, and richly coated, taste-filled candy bars that are sure to please you. Yes, there are many good things here for your pleasure. Enjoy them. Welcome back to Pulp Film Lab. I hope you're enjoying yourself so far. The lady hasn't vanished yet, but she's going to, I'm At assuming. At this point, we don't even know which lady it is that will vanish. But place your bets on which of these wonderful ladies will be vanishing in the film. Will, uh, it, will it be the young playgirl or the, the, the sweet old lady or the mysterious... Or one of the one other of the dancing ones. Troops. That's I just around. Uh, let's take this moment to talk to Rebecca Wiggins, again, our guest. As I said in the introduction, she's a local filmmaker and actress. That's um, right. Rebecca, you're a fan of Alfred Hitchcock. Could you maybe tell us about that? I'm a huge fan of Alfred Hitchcock. I started watching films, vintage uh, Hitchcock films, when I was 13, 14, and I feel like it's really influenced uh, the types of movie that I watch now as an adult and what I enjoy, suspense thrillers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how's that linked to maybe the work that you're working on right now? You've got a project currently. Yeah, we do. We have a project that we're working on right now called Those Who <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> called Those Who Wait. It's a suspense thriller. It's not a comedy, but it's about a woman who survived a car accident, and she's working on regaining memory as to what happened in the accident. Which, in you know, just even plot-wise, sounds like a possible kind of Hitchcock-y yeah. situation with characters. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I like the concept, I think, of Tippi Hedren in The Birds. Mm -hmm. um, she's this very delicate creature in the beginning, and then she goes through this whole mess. And I would say our film is pretty similar to that in theme. Cool. Well, we actually have a trailer. Uh, let's take a look at that right now, a clip from Those Who Wait. I don't know if you can hear me, Ed. Your sister won't talk to me. I guess she's probably still mad at me. Is she gonna remember what happened? I hear that your sister woke up last night. Now when a family member or a friend is in a coma, all we want is for them to wake up. And we think that that's the end game. But it's really not. seeing things that aren't there. Everything in your circumstance is normal, Emily. You've been through a lot. You need to rest. Are you sure this is a good idea? I just need quiet. I have to remember. And you're gonna be all alone up there. Is it safe? Tell her anything about the accident. You smashed your head. You've been seeing things and hearing things ever since. You just got out of the hospital. It could be dangerous for her. Did you see anyone out there? You gotta get rid of it. What if what I'm seeing is real? Ooh. 
I want to see it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. I hope that's the reaction that most people have when they watch the trailer. It looks great. It looks really good. Thanks, Actually, guys. fits in so nice with The Lady Vanishes. There's memory problems, maybe. Right. Maybe the woman isn't crazy and what's going on is real. I can actually really see the inspiration. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah I, um, I, I think playing that character definitely connects in a lot of ways with the Hitchcock heroines and then kind of going and developing through these hard circumstances that shape them into just completely different people by the end of the film. Yeah. Well, let's uh, get back in the film and find out what all that ruckus was in the oh. upstairs above uh, yeah, the apartment. Yeah, there are elephants dancing around. What's going on? Yeah. Cool. Back to The Lady Vanishes. What classic film was referenced most often throughout Breaking Bad? The answer... The Godfather. Get more out of life. Come often and bring your family to our drive-in theater. Why won't anyone believe her? She's not crazy. Maybe she is. Yeah. It's hard to tell. We gotta wait for the end, I suppose. Yeah, the old lady was pretty weird. No one mm -hmm. else knew she was there or talked to her. I don't Except know. Sugar cube guys. I don't like shady affair judge. I don't like that guy. <laughs> uh, shady affair so, judge. Becca, uh, yes. we mentioned before about some of your projects. Uh, you've also been on the TV show Manhattan. Could you tell us a little bit about that? It's yeah, currently filming here. that's right. I'm in the first season of the WG in America's show Manhattan, mm -hmm. and I play a character named Gladys, and she's one of the housewives that meets and greets Abby. Eventually, I pass on, spoiler alert, I pass on my job to her. Um, but yeah, and we just got picked up for a second season, which oh, is huge. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. It's a really um, cool period you. piece shot here. To, uh, the, the show is about... Los Alamos, the laboratories, uh, when they were mm -hmm. building the bomb in the yeah. war, and it's a really cool show. And yeah. I'm happy we can get it here for a second season. Oh my gosh, and there's so many um, actors on it. Alex, you're also in it too, as what, yep. yeah, sure. one of the scientists. Um, but I just think it's great work for New Mexico mm -hmm. actors, and hope we get more of it. Also, I want to mention your music video is now out on the internet, yes? Right, yes. Can you tell us about uh, that? On Vimeo, you can go to Vimeo and watch, uh, look up Slow Burn. And that's a song written and performed by me, and I'm the one in the video, too. Cool. And then finally, just in case we run out of time and we don't get to it, could you tell us maybe how we can support those who wait, the film, the clip that we saw earlier? Yeah, absolutely. For more information on Those Who Wait, go to www.thosewhowait-movie.com. And you can check out, you can read a synopsis of the script, you can watch the trailer if you didn't catch it, um, and find out other ways that maybe you can help us get the film out of post-production. We need someone for sound design. We also need a composer if any talented New Mexicans are out there and are interested in work. Cool, thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, we are gonna head back into The Lady Vanishes and after this next part of the movie, we're gonna head into Indie Insight with Dirk Norris, so stick around. Who is regarded as New Mexico's grand dame of cinema? Susanna Martinez, Shirley MacLaine, Ann Lerner, or Greer Garson? Answer next. Its intensity may be more than some wish to be exposed to. Regarded as New Mexico's grand dame of cinema? The answer? D. Greer Garson, as in Garson Studios in Santa Fe. 